Good morning. Uh, I'll talk with the faculty more about this at our faculty meetings. And by the way, teachers, remember that you have three choices for meetings. I think the first one is like 12.50 and the second one is 2.25 and the third one is after school at 3.20. Uh, but the faculty survey on when do the announcements was overwhelmingly in favor of beginning of period four. I asked two questions. One, which time do you think students hear them best, beginning or end? Uh, that was, again, almost a three to one margin. Felt the beginning was much better for students hearing them. Uh, and uh, then I asked about what do you prefer? And it was still about two and a half to one favoring them early. I did ask this at Committee WHS. I had about 100 students at Committee WHS last week. Uh, and much more mixed there. Uh, many of the students did agree that they hear them better at the beginning, uh, but a little bit more mixed. But still, uh, we're going to go with the faculty uh, majority on this since it was so strong. The two downsides we have to deal with, one, teachers remember to turn them on at the beginning of period four, and we're going to work on that. We're going to come up with strategies for that. And two, we do apologize to students making announcements because they have to really hurry back or they miss the first couple minutes of the activity. So that those are the downsides, but they seem to be outweighed by the upsides. Anyway, that's that. Okay, we have uh, four birthdays today. Asha Dampierre, Taylor Jones, Devin Lodano, and Sophia Waddell with birthdays today. Uh, you can see uh, boys, uh, actually boys freshman uh, basketball that's out at Linmar tonight, but girls freshman basketball is here. Uh, JV game is out at Xavier. I thought it was here. Uh, maybe I don't see it. Maybe that's changed for some reason. But freshmen, you have a meeting with the counselors and with me uh, this afternoon during uh, Warrior Time to talk about planning your schedule for next year. And then your parents have an event here tonight at 6 o'clock in the auditorium to hear what you're going to hear this afternoon they will hear this evening. So that's our big event tonight. Okay, lunch today includes chicken patty parmesan or burger basket or pasta bar or yogurt, bagel, and cream cheese, or sub sandwich, or pizza wedge. I'm going to hit you with some sports results really fast because a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, for I think I'll bowling. Uh, Kobe Dills had her personal best for women's bowling on the varsity side of the 324 series. Uh, and uh, Christine uh, Chica Emig had uh, and uh, Kelly Zahn had their best scores uh, for the JVs. Warrior Robotics team, this is worth mentioning, placed seventh out of a field of 24 teams at their league tournament in Marion Saturday, made it to the semifinals, just missed going on to state, but great representatives of our school, and we are much too proud of that team. Way to go, and they call themselves the Warrior Bots. So congratulations to them on a fine season. Warrior Swimming, divisional champions, third place overall, with a great performance on Saturday in Iowa City. Won their division, uh, the Mississippi Division, by over 100 points over W. Kempstead. Warriors led by conference champions Nick Salnier in the, one, in the 200 IM and Cameron Kelly in the 500 free. Cameron was a new conference record. That's a very big deal. And also uh, champions the 200 free relay team of Salnier, George Duran, Jeremy Thronson, and Cameron Kelly. A state performance is also turned in by Joe Slattery, Evan Stewart, Kayla Donalds, Nathaniel Burke, Ethan Ford, Mitchell House, and Matt Jackson. Uh, sophomore men's basketball picked up a win. Uh, Des Moines Roosevelt uh, let, trailed at halftime but won the game. Uh, Max Campbell uh, protected the basket well with six block shots uh, and six rebounds. And uh, Mick McCurry had five rebounds. Colin Westmoreland led the Warriors with 15 points. Drew Pishes in the 13. John T. Collins with 10. Our men's basketball team had a couple of really tough losses over the weekend. This is one for the ages. On Saturday, they traveled to Des Moines Roosevelt, and the team went to five overtimes. I'm sure that's a school record, maybe a state record. Five overtimes before the home team finally won that. Kean Wills had six threes and 28 points. Hunter Strait had 31 points, including four threes. Those guys almost never came out. Noah Dawson had six rebounds and two assists and two steals. Uh, Austin Bennett, five rebounds. It was just a valiant, valiant effort, but came up just short to Roosevelt, 95 to 87, five overtimes. Meanwhile, the girls' basketball team, uh, they roll along, picked up two great wins uh, Friday night over at Jefferson. Um, and Visser led with 18 points and six rebounds and took a charge. Uh, yep, and Shayla Johnson had 15 points. And then on Saturday, in a great game here, you missed a really good game here if you weren't here. Uh, we defeated number nine ranked Davenport North, 80 to 69. Uh, led by their Iowa recruit, uh, Devonport North. Janiqua Clark went off, 
23 points, 9 rebounds, and 9 steals. What a game. Jayla Johnson, again, 16 points and 6 rebounds. They are now 11 and 6. 10 and 6? 10 and 6? Maybe it's 10 and 6. We'll be 11 and 6 after they beat uh, East Waterloo tomorrow night. Let's do the announcers. Peter. Oh, so you go next, okay? Sorry, I'm budging in. Um, large group speech. First of all, congratulations on an awesome weekend. 18 of our 22. Um, events are moving on to state. We are state sticking with our same rehearsal schedule unless you hear otherwise from your coach. Most groups only have four rehearsals before state contest. If you have a conflict for either state on February 6th or our Thursday night parent night, you need to tell me today because I'm creating both of those schedules today and tomorrow. And finally, uh, individual events starts tomorrow. I will be posting the coast coaching list outside of my classroom 218, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks. Hey Peter, are you going to WPA? Oh, um, I was thinking about it. When is it? It's February 19th from 7 to 11. How much does it cost? It's $8 before and $10 at the door. Be sure to go. <laughs> and my club meets today after school. Uh, we have a guest speaker, so yeah. Oh, uh, we have an FCA meeting during both lunches today in room 128 at the Student Center. Lunch will be provided and we'll have a great guest speaker and everyone's welcome. And let me add my congratulations to all the speech competitors, 105 students competing for large group speech on Saturday out of Monticello, and lots of great successes. Thank you for your attention to these Monday morning announcements.